change the temperature range from up to down, it should change. You can see it moving. Okay, so today we have a little weird issue. Um, on this one, we basically have cold AC coming from that vent. This one, this is this is lukewarm, and this is just burning up hot. So basically, what I did is I checked the freon to make sure the freon was charged. That was correct, and it ended up being this part. This is the the blend door on the driver side I ordered a brand new one using a VIN number from Honda this part this is the one for the EX with the navigation and the dual mode for the AC so just want to make sure you get the correct one for your car using the VIN so the first part of this job is to take out this panel it should be a screw right here which I already took out and this little plastic Phillips right here next thing you have to do is you have to remove this little cover we just held them by a screw here and there's one over no, that's it. just this one screw and just pull the whole panel down because the key is to get this lower panel out out of the way let's get underneath to get a firm grasp and just pull it there you go you can either take the clips out from underneath the back just to get it completely out your way or just move it to the side. Now that's out of the way. This section is what you need to get out. These are just held in by these little push clips. Gotta pull it down. So, as you can see, I have a little bit of extra stuff going on here, but your car shouldn't have that. As I showed you before, that little arm, that's what controls the blend door on the driver's side for the temperature. So what I did is, in order to confirm that the unit was bad, I basically took it out and manually pushed this up and down to make sure that the AC was coming and once that was I used that method to confirm it then I ordered the part and I'm gonna show you how to put it in and this is the new one it's the same part number as the old one both OEM both Denzel and this is the part number so I'll give you a quick walkthrough it goes in like this this how it's bolted in there's one Phillips here here and here to hold it in that white clip that controls the flaps internally and this black one also is part of the blend door motion that give the temperature on your side so what you're trying to do is use a new one this goes into the white clip that little groove you saw and this goes into the black clip so they both go together like this I'm going to, I'm going to try to show you the best as I can but it's kind of cramped in here so basically it goes in like that you just gotta line it up into the groove now you just put the screw in to hold it in place Here's the new unit, it's installed. This is the connector for it, so basically just plug it in like this. And this part goes in right here. So if everything goes well, just put your key in. Double check to make sure you get an AC. And yes, you get an AC. See, you just change, you just move. And this is how you test it. When you press, when you change the temperature range from up to down, it should change. You can see it moving. 
before it was not doing that so that's why I confirm that this unit is bad so that's how you change the blend door actuator on the 2700 cord